Dango Testament Factory in Obajana in Kogi State has just reported that 27 staff were shot during the closure of their factory in Obajana by Kogi State government. Wow, this is very huge. 27 persons shot. Why did they do that? Why do they have to use such a magnitude of force to close a factory? Very unbecoming. And um, we will get the details of how it happened, which staff were involved and the rest of it. But before then, please, please like our video by giving us a thumbs up. Share this content and then subscribe to our channel if you are new here. Dangote Cement PLC has disclosed that 27 workers of the company we are shot at when armed thugs suspectedly acting on the order of Kogi state government invaded its Obajana cement plant. Why would they use Talks, armed talks. Why don't they use the official security of Nigeria using the police if they want to seal up a factory? Why do they have to use talks? That looks like something out of um, a Hollywood movie. Let's believe what um, Dan Gote said, but it would be nice to probably show to the public the 27 people that were shot with their wounds, with their injuries, where they were shot, uh, with them lying in hospital beds to make this story very, very acceptable and um, yeah, proof, proof is needed here. Anyway, the company in his statement by his group managing director, Michel Puchero, said that the invasion was carried out by armed vigilantes led by some officials of the state government acting on the resolution of the Kogi State House of Assembly on controversial tax claims. They didn't come with the police. And that is a big question. In the process of forcefully evicting workers to enforce the shutdown, the vigilante shot at 27 of our workers and also destroyed some of the company's property at the plant. Why rate rating that Obajana cement plant is 100% owned by Dango Testament PLC, Puchero said steps have been taken to arrest the vigilantes who carried out the invasion. Meanwhile, organized private sector under the aegis of National Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industries, Mines and Agriculture has berated the state, Kogi state government over the closure of Dangote cement or Bajana plant, describing the action as being hasty. <coughs> well, this is um, a very untidy development. If uh, Dangote acquired this cement plant from Kogi State government and did not pay all the necessary royalty or takeover amount is unfortunate. But I believe too that there are other ways this could have been resolved. The state government obviously have a right in closing down any factory in the state that is not uh, complying with tax uh, rules and uh, regulations. Uh, but the manner in which those companies are closed is also uh, very important because in some places all they need to do is to come and put a notice. And um, if they require to seal the company, they don't even need to go inside. It's just to send one person in or two and tell everybody to come out and escape within minutes. Otherwise, the Company will be sealed from outside and nobody can come out anymore and nobody will go in. You can come out, but you will break the seal and that will be a total uh, breaking the law. So I don't know why they needed um, uh, to use force to force people out. And again, using 
state vigilante, which wasn't necessary. I don't know if uh, Dango testament in Obajana, if the factory runs 247. If it doesn't operate in the night, the state government can quietly wait for the workers to go home. And when they are gone, they move to the place. They will find only security, show them a court warrant, and just seal the gate of the factory. People will turn up for work in the morning and find out that the place has been sealed. And they cannot break the seal, because if they do, they will be heading to jail. So there are easy ways, very easy, simple ways to do this. But um, Nigeria being what it is, people like uh, to show power. We are in charge. We are from the state government. We will close you now. If you argue, we shoot at you. And by the way, what gun did the so-called vigilante use to shoot at uh, Dangote workers? That is very shocking and disappointing that they did that, if they really did it. So it's unfortunate. And the Kogi state should also tread carefully. And Nigeria as a whole, because this is a private venture and this PLC, public limited liability. I'm sure that Skogi state citizens are also owning shares in a Dangote factory. So when you treat investors in this way, even local ones, somebody as big as Dangote, a well-known billionaire in Nigeria, uh, little men and women like us, if we have a few thousands to invest, we'd be wary of how the government will treat us. They can chew us alive and nobody will talk uh, on our behalf. We are saying this because it's Dangote. He's a, a multinational investor. He has many factories within Nigeria and outside. Unfortunately that Kogi State could not resolve this amicably because when he wanted to make acquisition of the cement uh, factory in Kogi State, some other time, or was it Benue in book or something, there was so much uh, bad blood, and that made him to actually build this new cement factory. All said and done, the action had been taken by Kogi State government. Bello is an APC man. They should reach out and resolve this problem amicably because I'm sure that thousands of Kogians or Kogi indigents are working at a Bajana cement factory. Even if they are not, other people are working there. And I believe even though they accuse the company of not paying tax, they must have paid something, but maybe not enough. So there's no need for shooting at anybody and there's no need of using force in this whole thing. We just believe and hope that they will sort this out so Dangote will one day invest more in Kogi State. This is how we'll take on this one because when two grass elephants fight, it's the grass that suffers. So, like it, share it, and subscribe. And we'll see you in our next update.